seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. What's going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, man. Welcome to another insane matchup. And I got to tell you, you got to buckle up for this one because today we're going to be saddling up using Rocky Balboa going up against a maxed out Isaac Frost, TRT Isaac Frost, juice to the gills Isaac Frost at an overall of 100. This is going to be insane. And for you guys that do not know, Isaac Frost, his regular stats are 95. But I went in there with a little, uh, <laughs> you know what, <laughs> some illegal hacking and made him 100 overall. So this is going to be pretty crazy. Oh, man. Without further ado, here we go. And if you missed my last Balboa fight, not the last one, but the one against Tyson was pretty crazy because, spoiler alert, man, we went down so many times and we battled back. It was crazy. But again, that Mike Tyson wasn't 100 overall. But I'll quit rambling. We're going to set things up. We're going to put it to the hardest setting. Greatest of all time, 12 Big Daddy rounds, man. You guys ready for this? And where are we going to play, man? Where are we going to play this at? We're going to play it. I want some fans, man. <laughs> yeah, we got to do it at Cowboy Stadium. I know we usually do these big fights at Cowboy Stadium, but we're going to do it. So here we go, man. <sighs> Let's see what happens. The thing is, when it's a boxing match, you know, you got time. You got time to kind of get yourself... You know, what am I trying to say, man? Get your feet wet in the fight. Yeah, so I'm not going to be going in there in the first round or two trying to take off a 100 overall fighter. I'm not going to be doing that, man. I really feel like even though I've gotten better at this game, I don't have that skill set to take out a guy in the first couple of rounds. So I'm going to move around, pick my spots, and um, <laughs> see what happens. But look at this. There's 60,000 plus people in attendance for the fight of the century. Isaac Frost. Going up against Balboa. Fiction versus fiction, right? <laughs> this is nuts. If you missed it, man, holy cow. I did the story mode for this game. And at the end of the story mode, you face Isaac Frost. And I got to say, that is up there as my top two favorite videos on my channel. And um, if you could believe it, I have over, what, 1,200 videos on this channel. And the fight against Isaac Frost was probably my number one video that I've done. So if you're ever bored, man, you have nothing to do, you want to kill some time, go check it out. It was pretty epic. But this is a different beast right here. You know, dealing with an overall boxer of 100. You know, he's just going to be better in every single aspect of this fight. So we got to just be calculated, make a miss, and, and counter with just single shots. And hopefully we can get him into deep waters and tire him out. But that's going to be tough when he has um, stamina of 100. But look at that loss, that only loss. Do you know, man? Come on, you gotta know, brother. That only loss is against Andre Bishop. <laughs> in the story mode. Oh, man. Have you ever tried the story mode in this? It was amazing. And I hope when ESBC comes out, you know, they have a story mode that was as captivating or even more captivating than this Fight Night Champion story mode was. It was just so much fun to play. It was so easy. You didn't feel like you were grinding. I know a lot of people like to grind when it comes to, like, you know, story modes or adventure games. But I just want to have a good story told to me. And I want to just enjoy the game, play the game, and experience crazy drama and all that. But speaking of drama, here we go. <laughs> Again. We're not going to be laughing when we taste the canvas, but what I got to do, this is just like the story mode, man. Frost coming at us. We got to move around. See that? Tap that block and counter. And that's what the elite guys do. I'm not saying I'm elite. I'm far from elite in this game, but that's what the elite guys do in this game. Oh, what? They tap the block. Oh, no. What shenanigans is going on here? I had full stamina. Uh oh, we may have to try this twice. But yeah, as I was saying, the elite guys, they tap the block. We're going to get up at 9, man. I need to clear the cobwebs. Oh, imagine I slipped my thumb on that. <laughs> but what happened? Okay, we really got to move around here. What the? Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. 
<laughs> Frost has totally put me uh, put me in silence mode, man, in mute mode here. Holy cow! There we go. Gotta get back into. I gotta use some head movement. I know some people say like only use head movement when you need to because it gasses yourself out, but. I can't be getting clocked by these hundred overall shots, you know? What a <laughs> shocking start, but not really shocking, man. It's a hundred overall guy. Oh, I'm swatting flies too. Here we go. It's got to be one shot and one shot, and we got to get running. Holy cow! Thank goodness uh, Balboa has a decent chin. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Rocky movies are one of the greatest movies. Greatest, obviously the greatest boxing movie and series. But when I was a kid watching it, I'm like, geez, would this guy just put his hands up? <laughs> Balboa would just never put his hands up, man. Just take shots. Block with his face. Oh, look at that. But look at Balboa, man. For all you MMA guys, Forrest Griffin comes to mind here, man. Forrest Griffin was the type of UFC fighter, MMA fighter, that he would always say he would need to get cracked a couple of times in a fight to kind of wake up. He would start off slow, and he would get cracked a couple of times, and then he would wake up. And if you haven't seen Forrest Griffin's fights inside the UFC, Zoctagon, man, some epic fights. Just whatever you do, don't search up. Forrest Griffin versus Anderson Silva. <laughs> You'll be totally disappointed if you're a Forrest Griffin fan. But he was that type. He had that Rocky Balboa mentality where he would get cracked a couple of times and then come back stronger. And that's what we need to, we need to do here for sure, man. Totally got outclassed in that round. Now we got to move around, you know? Oh, nice uppercut by Rocky, baby! We gotta. We we know we're uh, a little bit faster than Frost is, even though Frost is a fantastic athlete. And I don't know if you know, but oh man, they made Isaac Frost. He's not a real boxer. I know. <laughs> Some people. Oh, look at this! Is he hurt? He's hurt. Oh. Hold on. Hold that thought, man. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I gotta be careful. But they uh, modeled him after Randy Orton, you know, from the WWE. What craziness. How did I not... Oh, there we go. That was a nice one. How did I not drop him there? Yeah. There's... I'm telling you, the Balboa uppercut is doing good things, boys, man. And girls out there. <laughs> Holy cow, if you um, take a moment, look around, man. Look at all the fans. This is like WrestleMania. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, look at our... We gotta know when to back away, though, man. And I also maxed him out when it came to all the, you know, the, the stats and all of his punches and movements and that. So he is maxed out. There's no holding back here. Oh! Who landed? That happened so quick. That is a strong uppercut there. If there's one thing Isaac Frost can do, holy cow! Frost is not really giving us any breathing room, but holy cow! Throwing those crazy old wild overhands. Jeez. And the one thing I'm worried about too. Oh, nice. Um, what what I'm worried about is that stopping power that Frost has, man. All it takes is one big bomb, and the fight could end. So we gotta. Oh, and we have a reach disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you checked out my last video, man. <laughs> Shortest reach versus longest reach. Oh, that was so much fun to make. And we gotta take uh, take from the uh, the game plan book from that fight, man, and just try to 
Creep inside, sidestep, hit him with one shot, and keep on ticking, man. The key in this game, too, is you got to know when to just ease up on the offense. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice little flurry by Balboa, but you got to know when to ease back. I feel like, you know, the ultimate downfall when it comes to people that are playing this game, when you're that online boxer, oh yeah, let's dive into the details, is when people get a little too greedy when it comes to their combos, when it comes to their offense. You got to know when to pop in, hit them with a couple of shots, and then back away, keep the block up, you know what I'm saying? He looks great right now to open up this round. Yeah, but I feel like after that first round jitters, man, I feel like we're doing a little bit better now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, look at this. Balboa with a surprising knockdown. Can you believe it? Look at that. That's the key, man. You got to go up high, go down low. And Frost goes down. Shocking. And then I hit him. <laughs> Look at this. Just last time right here. Look at this. Two shots down low. And then as he was going down. Look at this. Another shot and another one. Not a lot of steam on those shots going down. And then Balboa poses over top of Frost. And Frost is frustrated. He's... He's telling me to come on. Look at this. But again, you gotta be, you gotta be careful with frost. Look at my, look at my stamina here. Yeah. There we go. Gotta be careful with him. Oh. oh, he's hurt again. He is hurt again. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and down he goes again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shocking moments. Don't wake up the beast, Rocky Balboa. And I feel like he did in that first round. Dropping him. And now Frost is getting a taste of his own medicine. He's all twisted. Look at this. Is he going to get up? He gets up at 8. At 9, sorry. It's crazy how Frost is still like coming at us. Dude, you got dropped twice. You got dropped twice, man. Okay, what I gotta do, I gotta watch my stamina as well. I just gotta wait for him to miss. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, baby! He's intimidated, isn't he? <laughs> He's intimidated. Oh, come on! Oh, that looked like. A oh, look at. Oh my gosh, look at our health. I don't know when to back away. Look at our health, man. Holy cow. Look at our health. Oh, Frost is doing a good job battling back. Oh, but shot to the jewels. <laughs> Did you see that? Shot to the jewels. Come on, baby. Come on, Balboa. Oh. Keep on going. Oh my look at my stamina. I gotta watch out, man. I gotta watch out. <laughs> blowing the blowing the wad early. <laughs> this is just too much fun. Oh. 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 A lot of O's in this round. Holy cow, he is looking to take my head off. You know what? Let's try to let's let's throw last ten seconds. Let's go. Let's throw. Oh, down he goes. It's over. It's over. It is over. Shocking moments here on YouTube. <laughs> Isaac, it's done. What? What happened to the three knockdown rule? Oh, oh, it's over. <laughs> Can't get saved by the bell. That is crazy, man. That is crazy. Shocking moments here on YouTube. Oh, man. Frost looked pretty deadly in that first round, but you know what, man? Jeez, I feel like he just felt a little too cocky after that first round, and maybe he um, took Rocky for granted, and we came back. What a W. But anyways, guys, man, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. 
I can't wait to see the scorecards. Balboa's ready to fight again, man. He's ready to fight again. But look at that. 10-8 first round, and then 10-9 for us in the second, and then we finished it off in the third. That was crazy, man. Definitely crazy. But anyway, let me know what you want to see next, what crazy matchups you want to see. I'll also be dipping online as well. Um, to doing some online fights. I know you guys love to see that. But anyways, people, this is Ricky J. Love you. Have a great day. I'm out. Take care. <laughs> that was so fun. Uh, Balboa. Gotta love Balboa.